Three, two, one, action! Well, I'm Everest VR, and we're once again back with a new podcast, episode five, I think. And today, six? Uh, I can't tell at this. I rate. can't remember I, anymore. I can't remember. In, the, in the way in the way they come out, it makes it so confusing. I know. I yeah. know. This is the first time we get all of us here together, though. So. Guys, we're going to today. Yeah, we're going to be talking about ones, basically Skyfar. At this point, by the time you're watching this, you know about it. You know about it. It's been classified for a while now, but finally, we're making it known what our classified production. And Mr. Ball has tried been. to spoil it. When? I mean, <laughs> on the first on the first episode. <laughs> on oh, the first episode. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. He oh, almost yeah. Said, he almost yeah. leaked it out. He almost leaked out that we've been working on Skyfar. Uh, like, part yeah, spoilers. Two. If you guys didn't know about it, check the channel. Check out Skyfar teaser trailer part two. Um, um we should have released last week for you guys. Uh, it's absolutely epic. Uh, so basically, I'm gonna ask mainly Mr. Bob and Fusion like. What was your favorite part for you guys to do in that teaser trailer? I go first. Hmm. Um, let's go with Fusion because usually we, far, we start in the far exterior and then we make our way I in. See. All right, Fusion. Um, I gotta say probably my favorite part what in the trailer doing was when I was having the visions in my head and like seeing like Zany. Uh, Everest and J.I. just in my mind and it's like, <gasps> like something's coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that, that, was really, that was really fun to do. <laughs> and so that was your favorite scene to do, but what was your favorite scene to watch? Oh, favorite scene to watch? The um, same thing. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's the same thing from the way you said it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably, probably that. And then also just like, um, Probably like the ending part was my favorite. Just like see like everything like come out and just like Mr. Bob like say it's gonna be okay. We could do this together. That I did like, like that part. Like Mr. Bob went all out in that acting. Like you added a little bit of fear there and all that. That was acting like, was good. So grief, good. Mr. Bob. You're not a triple I mean, A actor, but I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, of course. That's the last thing that I'll ever do until GTA 6 comes out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> That's coming out next two Jay years, Jay dude. Thinks... It'll Wait, be delayed by oh, another I'm, two I'm years. Excited. It'll be delayed by another two most years. Most likely. Oh. Goodness. I can't wait any longer. Most definitely. Um, what about you, Mr. Bob? What was your favorite uh, me? Uh, scene to, to do? Not to watch, but to do. Uh, oh, I know what my favorite my, was. Scene, my favorite scene to do <laughs> was probably the part where I was just talking with Fusion. I'm not even joking. Like, was there a specific part, or are you just talking about it, like, overall? Maybe the end, where I said it's all going to be okay, was my mm. favorite. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. To oh, do when I, because you guys did, like, three different scenes with that, like, with different camera angles. Yeah. But then when I edited that camera panning out, and your voice was still there in the bottom, it fell so beautifully that I was like, oh, it's good. Right. It's done. It's done. <laughs> and, uh, 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 Everest, I'll be right back real quick, okay? Okay, <gasps> will do. Um, I also yeah. liked it that you act scared, Mr. Bob. Like, when you're yeah. like, I don't understand. I'm scared. And you're, like, scared. shaking your hands. You had that fear in your voice. I like the part, too, where the camera angles, like, at the bottom, and Mr. Bob is, like, shaking his head. Like, he, he doesn't know how to handle this. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, even yeah. your avatar, like, your, your expression goes sad. And I'm like, how did that fall so perfectly? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Bob, that's the reason. Uh, my favorite scene to uh, do, I mean, watch... Mm -hmm. Was probably the part where I was just shrugging the freaking. <laughs> like, oh, I like, love that scene like... so much, especially with the music and the the fire sound effects and the crickets in the background. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Now, if I have to add one, the hardest scene to do was probably me walking, like trying to get my joystick to move at like a certain speed. Now, that was really hard to do. Was it the walking or was it the crying? <laughs> <laughs> the crying, nah, that was easy. Oh, okay. That was easy. Okay. I mean, well, I mean, I mean, that one was a little hard because of the distortion. I'm trying to cover the breath and all that, but the walking, actually, no, I got to put both those together. Both of those were hard to do because I mean, I could, I can act, cry, and all that, but when you told me I had that distortion, I was like, 
huh, how am I going to pull this off now? <laughs> yeah, so chat, in case you ever, like, are directing a film or whatnot, and you're hearing, like, a lot of, like, uh, microphone distortions, a lot of it is sometimes your breath hitting the microphone, so sometimes a good way, especially if you're doing a crying scene, close your mouth a little bit and do it, do it again, and it'll sound so much better. It'll sound so much better. Mm. All right, now to J.I. J.I., you were in the trailer as well. Obviously, you were in only one scene, so I'm not going to ask you what is your what, 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 what scene was your favorite to do because you were only in one, so I'll make your question be, how did you like the scene that you were in? Like when you actually saw the footage. When I saw the footage, it looked way cooler than I thought it would be. I thought it would just look stupid. <laughs> yeah. Like very, very stupid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just there, and just, like, then next thing I know, I look at the footage, I'm like, oh, that <laughs> right? looks amazing. <laughs> right? No, it did. It, it had, like, really glitch. Did. It had, like, the glitch, yeah. like, go across your face. <laughs> yeah. And I kind of realized, no, I, I still realize, I, uh, stopped my head very perfectly. I don't know how. I don't know how you did it you either. Did. But you stopped it you so did. perfectly that it made me do that visual effect even easier than anybody else. Than like then if it would have been anywhere like different. Like it, it was oh, just damn. perfect. So chat. Um, Schizophrenia. Since, so I'm gonna actually make this information no, be known. Um this does not guarantee you guys a position. But for those of you that want to guarantee yourself in the podcast, you can always sign up with a Patreon. Uh that will let you guys know that's almost a specific time that we do this. But I will give you guys a generalized time frame because everybody's having a hard time joining these days. And that is we stream on, not stream, we do the podcasts on Wednesday, either Sheesh. Wednesday or Thursday, come three or four o'clock Pacific time. I'm letting this be known <clears throat> because we've noticed that all of you guys literally log out at exactly the time that we do this podcast. So. If you guys want to be involved in a podcast, you guys got to be on around that time. I understand it's very late for you guys sometimes, but presently, that's the only way we can make it work. Um, Yay, good for me! <laughs> let's see if we can get Zany back on here. It's very late for me. So, in case you guys didn't know what this podcast was going to be about, actually, let's talk no. about... So the reason we're filming in this room is happy Halloween, guys. We're All actually right. this was. Ooh, what yeah, I'm that? good. <laughs> oh, I thought fusion was. No, I just had a hiccup. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, the I'm reason good. we're the reason we're actually recording in this room is because we're celebrating Halloween, and at the same time, this is the same room that we did the teaser trailer for Skyfar Part Two. So we just thought uh, Zane thought it would be a good idea to do the podcast here. That's why we're doing that here right now. And uh, the second topic of our conversation, and we'll get back to Zany about um, Skyfire Part 2, but the second part is AI. Fine. We were going to talk about our opinions, what we hate, and what we like about AI. So while Zany, while we're waiting for Zany and waiting for somebody to invite, I figure we start out the conversation with Fusion, since you're the most out of range and we already started with you. <laughs> I'm gonna lay down. Um, so, let's start with like, what? Let's not go with the hate part first. Let's go with what you like about AI. Or no, what are your thoughts on AI first? Let's let's do that. Let's let, let's go neutral here. Um, I mean, I don't know that much about AI to be honest. But I mean, for what I've seen of it, I mean, I guess it could be useful at some points. But then, it's kind of nice to like create your own stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, I don't know that too much stuff about it, so it's really hard for me to say, actually. <laughs> Where's Mr. Bob's hand in your mouth? Mr. Bob, get your hand out of his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Wait, what? Get out of here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, like... <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, and I'm dressed as a oh zombie goodness. here, so you really, you really want that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Um, <laughs> You're gonna be affected now. <laughs> is there anything particular yeah, that you like about AI, uh, Fusion? Like, I know you don't know too much, but... Or that you would like to see AI do. Let's put it that way. Honestly, not what I can oh, think at the top know. of my head, to be honest. Okay. I mean, okay, so what type of AI are we, like, talking about here? That's, any, like, my question. Any. We're talking... I mean, you can literally can you choose think? anything you want. 
Um, From above? We're talking about AI. Yeah, we'll get back to your question about Skyfar after Fusion is down here. That's the only reason I've invited anybody yet. All right, sure. Uh, yeah, I really can't think of anything. <laughs> gotcha. So, I have to learn more about AI, to be honest. Well, what do you think about mm. AI in the like the artistic field, like? For example, that you can just type whatever you want, and it'll give you an image of what of what you like, or what you want to see. Like, are you? I mean, I feel that, like, or is that like I too feel... much? <laughs> I mean, I, sometimes I think it's a little too much. I mean, sometimes it's really accurate, and then sometimes it's not. Like, if yeah. you try to search up something, it doesn't give you what you're looking for. So yeah. I feel like there could be more accuracy to it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Okay, so chat, we're going to divert the question from Fusion, and we're going to go to uh, Zany, back to the Skyfire question. So I'm not going to basically ask you like what your fav what 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 your favorite scene was to do since you only did one, but what did you think about that one scene that you were in? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. That's fair. <laughs> did you like the trailer overall? Yeah, I'd say it was pretty good. Nice. Doesn't really give too much to be like seen. That's the thing. Exactly. It makes you want to watch it. Exactly. That's why it's called a teaser trailer and not a theatrical trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on here with with JI. He's looking to the sky. That is a gorgeous movie. I'm laying down. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes his, sense. He got his menu open. That's yeah. why he's looking up. That's cool. That's cool. I do that too. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Like I'll I'll actually lay in bed and I'll like in my regular like Oculus menu and I'll just watch like something on Hulu or something on on like whatever stream service I'm using with my headset. Ah uh, yeah. It's awesome. I like Um Mr. Bob, do you wanna go next now? About AI? Sure, what are we talking about? So the first, so the next part will be like what are your thoughts on AI? I that that'll be the first question. My thoughts my thoughts are is I don't believe AI has the ability to become its own self without knowledge from humans. Mm. Um, if you feed it more and more knowledge, then the smarter it'll get because of humans. Um, another thing, um, I really think AI can be good, though it depends on what you use it for. But then again, it's really just humans against humans because humans want this tech so they can make things cheaper and make it to where they can fire other people and yeah. get, take their job and all that stuff. And that's wrong. It's just a uh, get out of money strategy right, or right. something. <laughs> just getting um, money. What is people your... need jobs. Yeah, exactly. People need jobs. And I will definitely agree with you there. There, there needs to be a law put in place okay, where AI can grow as much as they want, but you cannot fire somebody over an AI. Like, that is just against right. them. That needs to just be a straight-up thing. Um, what is your favorite thing about AI? My favorite thing is you can actually learn from AI. If you tell it something you would like to know, it can give you the knowledge for that. You can actually... AI can be your own teacher, basically. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. That's what I'm using it for in some way, but yeah, AI can be your own teacher. Now, the third question, and I'm pretty sure you already answered this in the first one, was what do you hate about AI? But I'm pretty sure you said it by people not having jobs. That's basically why you don't like AI, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so I guess it's my Ooh. turn now. Um, so my thoughts on AI. Shut up, Honestly, I love AI. I love it to death. Um, I use it way more than most people are even aware of on my channel. Like, I know there's obvious parts where it's like, Everest, why did you use AI for the podcast thumbnail? Yeah, <laughs> never do that again. You should just ask me yeah. to make something for it. By yeah. the way, this By the way in case you guys do not I'm know, I'm sure I'm putting the thumbnail for this one. Oh, that's fair. I know. I knew you're gonna want to because it's a fire and it's like a Halloween environment. I knew you're gonna want to. I knew you were gonna want to. But yes, guys, Mr. Bob actually makes the thumbnails for the podcast series now. So yeah, um, we've, I've actually had some people comment that they want you to make them profile pics. <laughs> I'm like, you guys. I'm not that, that good yet. You're, you're, uh, I'll open up something later. I promise. I found the mystery skittle. So anyway, um, 
what's do I like about AI? Like um, I like it because if I have to make emergency content, like ASAP, like for a YouTube thumbnail, obviously, if mm. I can make an original one, yeah. make an original one. Don't depend on the AI, like you said. Um, but if I am out of time, I like the fact that I can just quickly type something up, get a thumbnail, probably tweak it a bit because sometimes it's really messed up and it doesn't look right. The spelling gets all wrong and whatnot. Um, yeah, I also I hate when like it does that. Uh, beyond the headset. The name of this um, of this podcast, the name was actually taken from an AI, not fully. Uh, it, it had a weird, it gave me a weird recommendation. It was like, you should name your podcast uh, Beyond the Horizon. And the other one was like uh, a headset, uh, within the headset. So I just kind of combined the both and I named it Beyond the Headset. So again, AI is very useful when getting like, emergency Monday. information. Uh, granted. You okay, JI? Yeah. Just, okay. And the one thing I would love to see in AI, and I know there's a lot of people that will have problems with this, is like in the future, you have like your favorite novel, and you download the novel into an AI, and that very night, you go hang out with friends, and you go watch that novel as a movie. That would be so cool, but the copyright would be outrageous. There would be oh, new yeah. of yeah. copyright unlike anything we've ever imagined. Um... What's the and then what's the part about AI hate? So um, I do hate AI being used. Like people, obviously, like Mr. Bob, people should not get fired. People should not lose their jobs over AI. Period. No. And I don't think AI should be allowed to be used to make new stories. It just doesn't seem right. It, AI stories are very dry and very weird. And on top of that, it kills human creativity completely. There's just no more creativity anymore. I, I right. write all my own scripts. I do not, I want to clarify that with you guys. I do not use AI to write any of my scripts. Those are all Chat OG. GPT? Okay. No, I actually, I use ChatGPT for like, for experimental scientific um, questions. That's why I use ChatGPT for. And I like to mess with ChatGPT sometimes. I just like to ask it weird questions of, what happens if you turn cows into people? It hates that question so much. <laughs> you want to see what it says right now? What? You just gotta You want, you move want, you want to see what it says there. right now? What, Chad GPD? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Alright, boot it up. Boot what up? Like, you're booting it up? <sighs> Oh no, uh, I'm, we're, we're doing the podcast. I thought you were offering to do it. Um, maybe that'll be another. No. Maybe that will be another stream or like an other video where we get together, and we just basically ask an AI stupid questions and see what happens. That would make an entertaining video, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wait, yeah. wait, wait! You could do like you could do like the questions you always see on like TikToks and YouTube Shorts that are always random. Like, if you have five Titanics and half of them have eaten. A cow. What is the color? What What is the color of the tree? United States of America. Yes. <laughs> I remember ask, telling an AI this. What year did an astronaut fall from the moon, land on a tsunami, and make it to the Super Bowl in time? The AI hated that question so much. It hated it so much. <laughs> it got mad at me, I think. <laughs> um, J.I., it's your turn. What are your thoughts on AI? Oh my goodness. Uh, it's okay. Just sometimes a little unsettling. Is he okay? A little unsettling. <laughs> no. Um, literally just putting facts. So like, the funny Chad fact GPT about the unsettling AI. AI, that's actually free AI. For people that pay for like full version AIs, it's it's actually scarily realistic. It is terrifying. ChatGPT. Um, it depends on the AI. Have you ever seen Mid Journey? Mid Journey is terrifying. I've, I've I found it. I think it's the most advanced visual AI out there. Uh, anyway. 
So that's your overall thought on on your thoughts on AI? Yeah, it's like not. I don't like it, and I don't hate it at the same time. So basically, I mean, are it's uncanny valley. Uh, that's what you're having, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next question. What is your favorite thing about AI? My favorite thing about AI is just mostly. It depends on what type of AI you're talking about. Uh, so um, any AI, it can be any topic, any anything related I to AI. I guess my favorite AI would be probably like NPCs and games. Those kind of. Oh games. yeah. So I don't know if you guys have been yeah. watch. I don't know if you guys have been watching like Skyrim VR NPCs running on ChatGPT. That is uncanny. You can go up to yeah. them. You can have full blown conversations with them, and they remember <laughs> what you talked about too, which is nuts. Oh. You know the thing. I mean, that's I've cool. seen an entire yeah. video about someone made AI uh, do stuff in Minecraft. It was kind of cool. That is, yeah. Uh, I would love to see more video games do that, so long as they don't use it as a way to remove actors from video games. Yeah. Right. So one of the things they do with Skyrim is the they use all the actors that were in that video game, and then they they use that to teach the AI how to speak like them. So and I think that's a good way to do video games because you can still hire everybody, and then you can just use the AI after the fact. Like don't don't just don't just omit your actors totally out of a production. Like not not only that, but the way you could do it is that like. It's like a mix between the two. Let's exactly. say, for instance, that's like that, what I meant, oh, and you got let, it. Hold, yeah. Hold up. Yeah. Go ahead. I was gonna say. So let's say, for instance, um, the NPC you're about to talk to is like part of a main story quest. Mm -hmm. If you do the main, if you pick the main story quest option, it will follow as usual from the actual voice actor. Mm -hmm. But if you yeah. pick a di if you pick a different option, like a actual like talk option, then it will move on to the AI. And what's cool with AI is you can get random procedural storylines and they can send you on procedural quest lines uh i remember seeing uh in skyrim vr slash this this uh ai mod they actually went to like the jarl of this palace and they told them look i did this quest and whatnot i think you need to host me a party and the ai actually had to go get everybody and host a party for him and I was just oh, like, wow. that is crazy. <laughs> like, that was so cool. That's a, wow, that's insane. It is. Mm, yeah. Uh, anyway, J.I., next question for you. What do you hate about AI? I think you already told us, though. <laughs> okay. See, now, I is didn't it the about it. Okay, so the two <laughs> things I hate is, first, the AI art. I don't have too much of a problem with it. But I've seen so uh -huh. much AI, I can't speak for my life. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, we're I've seen, it. I've seen so much AI art just get... Uh, just dished out? Higher, rate, higher rated than just regular art made by people. Yeah, with yeah. Oh, yeah. Skills. yeah. And it makes me upset. And then the other one... I hate is, uh, the recent ones where it's very uncanny, very very uncanny. I have seven fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that and things where I've seen videos. I'm pretty sure it's dead now. Thank goodness. But uh, there used to be videos of like. AI overrunning videos like uh, you know that one meme is, like 21 like the kid is like very stupid no offense I don't actually okay. I actually have not seen oh. that the, the the newest AI video I've seen and this is terrifying yeah. is like but there's these five year old like no no like three year old babies like on their dad's lap two of them and then this spooky ghost man comes running in, and then the two babies jump up and they run out the door with the monster chasing them out. That was all AI generated, and it's so weird, and I hate it. Oh yeah, <laughs> see now what happens? It's weird because it's like it takes the video, it takes the normal video or picture, and it just says it just flips it all around. And I'm like, mm -hmm. and it just has someone behind them. I'm like. Man, that's creepy. It and is. then the other thing about it is 
they always have like this weird music which always tells you if it's about to be an AI generated video which also is very uncanny so mm -hmm. yeah you yeah, turn any um actually what was the other oh, I was gonna say another statement for you Jay, but I don't remember yeah we'll go on to Zany uh, all right Zany what are your thoughts on AI interesting My bad. I'll bong you with this marshmallow if you don't stop a marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? They'll never find your body. Wow. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, just hear him scream randomly. The trees are grabbable. Watch out. <laughs> anyway, I don't yeah, care. Watch out. I Anyways, don't care. I don't care if you like grab said, the trees. We're not filming, but I mean, except for the podcast. It's on my body. Anyways, like I said, interesting. I find them. I find it interesting. Okay. Uh, then we'll go to the next question. What is your favorite? What well, <laughs> What is the thing that you like most about AI? My bad. Or something positive you want to share about AI? Schoolwork. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Please don't okay. tell me you use AI. To <laughs> Only once, and it was on a single assignment. No, also, no. might I, I just? Mean, I've done that a few times in my past. Uh, I did that once. Real there was no AI, are but exposed I've done it once. right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can I explain myself for a sure, second? Sure, go please? ahead, go ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, the uh, homework was last year. Our history teacher wanted us to, like, wanted us to, like, plan out, like, a trip, like, a, a like, a, like, a, like a imagination trip, but he wanted us, like, do in, like, actual cost of it. And I was like, that is way too complicated. Uh... I'll do most of it, like, look at areas and stuff like that, and then I'll ask, like, how, like, conversions, what are some good spots, like, what is it like there? The spot I chose, the country I chose was Ireland, since it had to be, like, out of country. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, so Ireland, what's this one place? That's an interesting place. Let me write it down. What are some nice parts about it? Ooh, that's a, they have a, like, really good, like, bar and food area. Ooh, all right, I'll write about that. Like, write about, like, yeah, like that. It helped out a lot, especially since, like, it could have been a group project, but I was working alone since I didn't really know that many people. And the right. people I did, uh, they were already in groups. Okay, that's fair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I get no, out of your free card. I need fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hey, my money. What's your story? No. <laughs> uh, I, okay, so that's cool. Uh, Zany, so you basically said the positive side of it. Like, and now what do you like yep. not like about AI? Yeah. Character AI. Huh? In what format? Uh, coping mechanism format. What? Uh, Did you know that, that character.ai spies on you too? That what? Yeah. I don't know well, what no, character actually, AI I don't, is. I, don't I think use... you guys basically, gotta update it's me. This, basically, it, <laughs> it's basically it's this mobile app that people get to use where they get to talk to like fi uh, talk to fictional characters. It basically promotes being lonely and have and not being uh, able to talk with real um... people. Gotcha. <laughs> Okay, as I, I, I kind of use that that's, sometimes. <laughs> no. I don't use it. My cousin uses it. I've never heard of it. Now, I, don't get me wrong. I have talked to different, like, fictional slash non-fictional AI characters. Like, I had a heated argument with Zuckerberg. Oh, man, that got heated. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow. <laughs> it was crazy. But let me tell you. So, uh, this is going to sound uh, funny. Uh, the the third conversation I had with an AI was with Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> the guy from Terminator? Yes. Okay, like, you know what? Can, that was I... the chillest conversation I've ever had with an AI. I thought I was talking to a oh, yeah. for a little bit. Like Prepared it made me it made me feel <laughs> uncomfortable <laughs> how chill of a conversation we had. Can I say something? <laughs> sure. There's an entire app that makes you guess if you're talking to a human or an AI. Oh, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, no. Anyway, like, yeah, the, keep on sharing, it, Zany. For like the main reason why I don't like it is because if you already have a good support system and friends, it's fine. Just don't let it take over control and stuff like that. Exactly. But if you don't, and that's it where... basically just it basically it basically just means you won't like 
get out of the house and stuff. I'm that is not yeah. good too, because and that's what scares me about like social AI companionship. That uh -huh. can psychologically ruin you if you become dependent on it. Like mm -hmm. the amount of damage it could actually create to a person would be terrible. Absolutely terrible. So yeah, get real yeah. friends, guys. If you don't have real friends, come join us in streams and whatnot. I literally tell people that on Reddit. If you're lonely and you're looking for yeah. friends in Rec Room, come hang out <laughs> with us on streams. Like, no joke. We, we, we treat everybody respectfully. Don't use AI Ooh. as your best friends. <laughs> Ignore that. The only, the only time right, I find kids. a character AI fine <laughs> is with what you said earlier about stuff like Skyrim VR. Yeah, yeah. And I really want to see more of that in the future. Yeah, I can't reach my lamp. Like, uh, Fallout 4 it's is getting dark. that same mod that Skyrim There we go. Had. Yeah, it was getting dark in my room. So now you can literally <laughs> talk to anybody in Fallout. And I bet you they import I, that into I, the new Starfield game, too. Speaking of mods, I feel like we need to talk about our favorite kind of mods. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna start first, because I, I gotta be I right back mods. anyways. Alright, go I ahead. I haven't played in Sorcery mods. What kind of mods are you talking Blade about? Sorcery mods. Are you talking? Uh, any, any kind of mods, blade, sorcery Blood mods, Fallout mods, Minecraft mods, any kind Beat really. Server. I, I yes. love Skyrim mods, mods just because it makes Skyrim the best VR game in existence. Do you wanna? Do you wanna know what I would have to I'm say? I VR game. Hang on. What's up? <laughs> what did What did Jay <laughs> <I> say? <laughs> he said, "I'm a VR game." Oh, you are a VR game. We are a VR game. So we're living me, in rec room right now. For me, it has to be it has to be Blade and Sorcery mods because it can turn it into some of the funniest stuff ever. Uh, there's this one thing you can get in both regular Blade and Sorcery and a Nomad scripting beta. Mm -hmm. That's a voice character mod. Uh, I, Jay, I've told you about this before, right? Yeah, I was trying to record a video that I wouldn't upload, like, forever, because <laughs> I kind of forgot how to upload videos. So, oh, no. basically, the... Next the... second, I just hear a random curse word, I'm like, oh, frick. <laughs> so, so, basically, the voice mod I'm talking about... You know how come in Blade and Sorcery, the, normally when you're attacking an NPC, it's just grunts? I have uh -huh. actually did I not know. know how to play that game. I, I started out in the little cabin. I went outside into the like work to see the ocean, and I was just like, "Where's the arena? I'm done playing." And that's it. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm severely disappointed. Okay. I know. I know. I'm it's sad. It, there's get, a map nearby the little like lo, nearby the little boat. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, I did not know that. I know what I boat could, you're talking I, about. I could help. I should. I could help you through it via Discord, honestly. Like I know what boat you're talking about. I just never walked out to it. Um, give me one moment, guys. A lot of people are joining in. I'm trying to see if any of them are anyone I can actually invite. Sure. I but yeah, no. So basically, Ow. uh, let me think. What else was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah. So basically, um, the NPCs that you fight in Blade and Sorcery, not the the not the new ones that like basically that have like actual NPCs and stuff in a story. Mm -hmm. The nomad ones, basically. Uh, if you download a scripting mod, you'll turn all those, uh, grunts into, like, really funny, really funny voice lines. Uh, now, I'm, if I remember... Now, can you... Are you, can you mod Blade and Sorcery, like, through the quest by itself? Yeah. Yes, actually, you I can. mean, with mod.io. So there you don't, you, you don't need a PC? Way... You don't need a PC to do it? No, I... Ooh, no, you cool. don't need an account. Hey, there's only, yeah, there's only one, there's only, there's only one restriction. There's only one restriction. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, there's the difference between Nomad and Nomad Scripting Beta. Mm -hmm. Basically, if you go into your settings in, uh, uh, Blade Source Sorcery Nomad, right. you're allowed to change what kind of update version it is. And when you do that... You change it. You can you can change it between version 12, 11. I think you could also turn it to 10. But then at the very bottom, there's no there's version no, there's version uh, 12 scripting. Gotcha, gotcha. Which is Nomad scripting beta. Which would that? I'm pretty sure they're going to release 1.0. Would okay, that turn on? Mm -hmm. with, shush. <laughs> oh my god. When that oh turned god. on. 
when when <laughs> um that turned on, you now can download a basically any mod you want that is in the menu. So that voice mod pack I was talking about, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a scripting beta. Okay. The voice mod, the the mystic hands that everyone talks about, that's a scripting beta. Okay. Um, Frieza Supernova, that's a scripting beta. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, and 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 one of the best mods ever. If you just want to feel like something. an overpowered person, snap. I don't like this. Gotcha. Snap. I don't like being overpowered. I mean, that, I'll be like. Yeah, this. literally. It's just called Snap. Thanos? No! <laughs> but you can do a heap of other things. I mean. You can heal yourself. You can smite an enemy. Can you can, uh, make one. Make a, make an enemy levitate. You can snap their neck automatically, funny enough. I mean, I like where you're kind of directing the podcast. Because we're so. We're actually still early on. We're 40 minutes in. So, I guess we can change it to, like, mods. That's early on? Wait, I'm gonna sting you. Anyways, I said my up, stuff. Jay? I've, I've started up the... Go, go Anyways, ahead. I started up the next question, and now that I'm done with... Now that I'm done with my stuff, I shall be right back. Alright, what about I'll you, J.I.? It. What is your, like, favorite mods, if you use mods? On any game, any platform. Oh... Uh... Well, I've recently found a way to mod Minecraft. Haven't used any of them. VR uh, or normal Minecraft? Like, normal Minecraft. I don't know how to do Minecraft VR. Me neither. You have Take to use... Back. I mean, yeah, there's a few steps you have to take. And a lot of them are very... I uh, use SideQuest to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like I was saying... <laughs> okay. Uh... What was the question? Like, what are your, what's like... Your favorite type of mods? Yeah, what's your uh, favorite type of mods? Like, I it doesn't matter the game. Uh, like, you said Minecraft. Same with Zany, it's definitely Blade and Sorcery. Really? I, I may have to get that... into that. Yeah, because... Hold on, let me sit right here, please. In Blade and Sorcery, the regular game, it's not bad. Because, like... You can still have a fun time, even if you don't have mods. But I feel like Blaine Sorcery really shines a lot more with mods because... The mods just make the game a lot fun. Right. The thing you can is... use Thor's hammer! Ignoring <laughs> 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 <The older. laughs> that, that never happened. Uh, yeah, but you can use Thor's hammer. Uh... You can use a lightsaber. Does the um, does the mods on on uh, Blade and Sorcery is one of them multiplayer? Like, um, there might be. I don't remember. There is a multiplayer sure mod, but I don't think it's easy to download. I think it's a very complicated. Yeah, the mod. thing is, all the cool <laughs> mods like multiplayer and full body tracking, which I mm -hmm. don't have. Yeah. Uh, but multiplayer one, I'm not sure. Yeah. It might be on Nomad. I'm not sure though. If it's it is, uh, chat, let us know if if you you guys know. Let, let us know in the chat. Yeah, I'll I'll probably look through the mod menu and I'll tell you in Discord. But my favorite ones, I don't really have a favorite one, but it has to. Actually, I kind of do. It has to be the me medieval pack. Right. It's like a big chunk of weapons. You could just have that and be happy, because it gives you a variety of so many weapons, like daggers, sword, some, and then it has other country weapons, like, I'm pretty sure there's Africa, and Chinese, China. <laughs> Chinese? <laughs> yeah, China. You can use Glocks, is. too! Yeah, you can have a Glock 19! Okay, <laughs> oh, no. you know the guns? <laughs> The thing about the guns, I like them, but the NPCs can't use them, and it's just like... Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Boring. Yeah. The only part I don't like about Blade and Sorcery is, uh... I don't know if it's because I always use invincibility, but it gets a little boring after a while, mm -hmm. because they... Like, if they actually gave you a challenge, I won't turn invincibility off. I mean, I'm not bad at the game with invincibility off. It's just, 
I'd rather have it because I have more fun. Yeah, yeah. On. I know what you yeah. mean. Yeah. Uh. You all can't have anime all. powers too. Ah! Huh? <laughs> no, seriously, you can. You know Gojo, right? You can have those type of powers. Oh, yeah, I know. Right. You know the armor. The armor mods aren't bad. I just wish they actually had the mods come with them. I do have Gojo's lapis blue and reversal red. I kind of forgot Ooh. the mod name, but you can do a hollow purple combining them. I nice. do like playing blade and sorcery a lot because it's either I'm making a video, which I haven't in... Hold up. Let me check here. You if can use a channel... block it. I mean, a bop it. You can use a bop it. Oh, yeah. I saw that once. Hold up. Wow. Let's see. How long has it been since I made <laughs> literally a video literally in the game, and it works, too. It's been two whole years since I've uploaded a single video on my entire YouTube channel. Wow. Uh, so I that's guess... fun. I've heard they delete your channel after a year of not using it, but I don't know. I, I don't know if that... I guess that's not true, then. No, I... Eh, hold up, my That's dad's calling. True. Um, I, I didn't use. For I a guess year, I'll. I'll mute my mic. What's up? I didn't use my channel for a year that one time. It ain't true. Okay, good, good. Because I have also another channel, and I don't want to lose it either. So, cool, cool. All right. Uh, since Ji is doing a thing, I guess I'll I'll go off uh, on the next turn. So again, Skyrim VR, that is my favorite mods, just because you can give yourself full body, you can give yourself body tracking if you want, you can grab anything in the environment, even the people. So if somebody, if somebody offends you, you can just, you know, lay it down with it, just bam, bam, it's, it, gets, it gets gnarly. Oh my god. It's, 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 I remember breaking, this is going to sound terrible, this is going to sound terrible, I apologize, yeah. but I was playing Skyrim mm -hmm. VR. I'm used to violence. And I go into this burned down house, and there's this ghost girl there, uh -huh. right? She's a ghost, uh -huh. right? Wait, Bozo, right. I'm sorry. She's a ghost. That's mean. So, does that mean that me playing in VR that has this mod that can grab anything in the environment, can I grab this ghost? Oh, <laughs> I grab her by the uh... face, and I throw her. <laughs> well, well, the game did not on, know. Ghost. The game did not know how to handle it, by the way. So she starts running around shouting, help, help, help. And it's a ghost, by the way. I want to stress, this is a ghost. <laughs> and, and the Why would a ghost be yelling for and, help? And as she's running through town as a ghost shouting for help, 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 all the guards start surrounding me, but none of them will uh -oh. touch me because she's a ghost. She's, she, uh, they, they don't know what to do. They don't know, like, are we supposed to kill this guy? He did technically harass an individual. <laughs> But she's a ghost. <laughs> but it they, was didn't a know, ghost. they don't know how to handle it. I, I felt so guilty for messing with the ghost that way, but it was also <laughs> hilarious because the, the guards did not know what to do. They were so confused. They were like surrounded, me, <laughs> but they wouldn't even pull their swords on me. They were just like posing, like getting ready to fight me. And they're, they're just like, we don't know what to do. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Man, the power of null. <laughs> They didn't even pull out their sword. It was just like their body motions were like getting ready to like do something. Did the game they... crash? No, it didn't crash. They were... It was like the game was super confused. Um, Skyrim oh, yeah. VR rarely was... crashes on me. I, I don't have. I do not have like a billion mods like some people do. No joke. There are some people that have thousands of mods on Skyrim. Thousands. Me, oh, I only gosh. have maybe ten. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, but that's the cool thing about Skyrim VR. You can uh, always update it. You can add new stories. You can add new characters. You can change, make your avatar better. Uh, it's just, it's insane. You can just mod until the end of existence. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Can I finish what I was saying? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. So, I have used my YouTube account. It's just, I don't, I haven't uploaded anything on it. That's fair. Into that's you. fair. I want to remember, I kind of wish I remembered how to upload because I kind of want to be a good... Well, when you say upload, what do you mean you don't know how to upload? You don't know how to, like, open up YouTube, go uh, to your account, and click the I don't the, know how to upload. upload the Oculus videos. Okay, I, oh, I can, okay. I can, I, uh, that's actually very easy, but you do need SideQuest if you want to gain access to your Oculus files. Let's see, do I have SideQuest? I should, if I don't, I'm crashing out. <laughs> oh, no. I do! So, basically, all you do is you hook up SideQuest, and once you hook up to SideQuest, 
you go into your uh, headsets files, and then once in files, just go to videos and you'll and you'll, you'll or media or whatever it's called, and you'll see the videos right there, and you can copy paste to your to your computer. It's the easiest way to do it. If you try to go inside your quest files any other way, it it will sometimes blind you. I don't know why they do that. It just it'll pretend it's not even there. But oh, you missed yeah. I've done that. favorite mods. Plug head man, dude. Huh? So this is pretty cool. I love modding games. Also I, I can love tell. modding consoles, but I'm not gonna go into that. Um. Yeah, let's not talk about so... modding consoles or emulation at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Let's not just because so anyway, there are certain parties out there that are giving a hassle to certain communities. <laughs> it's all right, Nintendo. I'm not doing anything illegal. You I'm know, just you know who you are, Nintendo. You no. know who you are. I stare ah. at you. <laughs> all right. Anyway, oh. leave Pal World alone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, so, um, my favorite thing to mod is Beat Saber. There are literally Dang thousands it. of mods you can mod on there. Mm -hmm. um, I like going in as a full body character, mainly Waluigi. Oh my and, goodness. Uh, playing the song <laughs> I Wanna Wham by something <laughs> 65. <laughs> anyway. Wow. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, also, I like using custom maps, and sometimes I like to have this cinematic big picture mode that literally puts like a screen while you play the game. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I put the freaking music video I want to wear, and I play as <laughs> Waluigi, and I put it on a Waluigi stadium map, and oh I play goodness. Waluigi pinball song. Oh, my also, word. While it's also playing I want to wear, because apparently you can put a jukebox while you're playing the game, <laughs> game with a song, so you can play two things at the same time. So Waluigi Stadium from Mario Kart 60 uh, DS, you know what that is? Um, yeah. anyway, oh, yes. Um, I have the Waluigi Stadium map, and it actually is animated and everything, literally all that. Then I have I Wanna Wham by that thing <laughs> CG5, and I'm literally Waluigi. And also, my sabers are freaking Waluigi tennis rackets, because that's the game you <laughs> originated in. It wasn't an actual game. That's awesome. It was wow. just tennis. He, this, this man isn't anyway, even playing just Beat play Saber that. anymore. He's just playing a brand new game at this point. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I, I just changed a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, that's what I mainly do. I do that for about 50 minutes on extra plus mode and speed up the four times. No, not four times. Eight times. Ooh. So I guess you can call it extra plus, 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 plus. Wow. And also that's make impressive. sure it continues to do that at least five times oh my um, that's goodness. another mod so wow. basically i just rack up the score i'm number one i'm number one on the leaderboard by the way mr bob is literally working too. out playing beat saber <laughs> literally yeah i've literally lost like 50 pounds from <laughs> 50 <that>. pounds. <laughs> yeah yeah those of you i mean think beat video saber's games like cannot a make you game. lose weight yeah yeah those of you punks who think Beat Saber or whatever fitness VR makes you not lose weight. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you, Dad. No, <laughs> it's Ouch. true. You Ouch. can't lose weight. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, Ouch. um, also, I bought Minecraft like years ago, and mm -hmm. I'm so glad I did because I get Java and Bedrock, which have mods Ooh, on there. Nice. Well, not bedrock i have official mods because bedrock you can't actually mod oh yeah that's true yeah, yeah. so i hear yeah yeah they patched it Sad. yeah they're being very <laughs> yeah, mojang sad. is being sus themselves um <laughs> what about you fusion um i really don't use mods the only time i use mods was when me and a couple of friends played uh, Lethal Company together, and oh, I downloaded nice. a bunch of mods. But the only on Lethal. the Lethal only Lethal. bad <laughs> <laughs> the only it's bad right. thing about it is the only bad thing was is I don't have the proper uh, PC for it, so my uh -huh. game was constantly lagging. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But if I was able to use mods more. I would definitely want to mod Beat Saber. Just so <laughs> I could play like some of my favorite songs you on, can Be use, on Beat Saber. You know what side quest is, right? Yeah. You can use this thing called BMBF. 
Um, I don't know if you know I how to install it. it. It allows you to mod Beat Saber on a quest standalone. It didn't work for me. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that was the first thing I did before I started modding on my PC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just use BMBF on my quest. That's one thing I mod a lot these days is my quest three. That's probably the reason why X battery power runs out so quickly is because there's just too many oh, modifications. Yeah. Like running lifetime. When you say mod, what do you mean? So you don't know what BMBF is. I. D <laughs> I think he's referring to my question, like how am I modding oh. my quest three? Is that right, Ji? He said Mr. Bob. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. So my Quest 3 is modded in the sense of your user interface. My user interface looks different and I can customize it. So that's how my Quest 3 is modified. My Quest 3 is also modified. Most of chat, and you guys know this, uh, knows that one of the immediate mods that I have in my Quest 3 is it disengages Facebook from my headset. That's why when you guys try to send me friend requests to my Oculus account, I can't see them. Like I can't see them oh, yeah, because. Why did you do that again? I don't remember. Because the amount that Facebook spies on you is unethical and borderline illegal. Like they can spy on you using your cameras. They can spy on you using your microphone. They can spy on oh, you with how your body's anatomy is from the way you move with the remotes and the headset. It's very very. Okay, disturbing. that only makes sense. Yeah, they have no right. They have no business like messing with your privacy to that Facebook, extent. Facebook, stop spying on me. Exactly. So Thank that's you. what I did. <laughs> He's being polite about it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, oh. But yeah. And uh, also, I, oh, go ahead. Also, Zany's gonna be a little bit longer. I think he said his boo got ready, so okay. he's gonna be a little longer. That's fair. I'm gonna have um, to eat off soon. Yeah, we'll, we'll wrap things up here in about four minutes. Um, Zany basically answered all the questions anyway, so it, it works out. Mm -hmm. we, got, we got all the content we need. And again, guys, we will try and make sure that we make next podcast known the time and date and all that. So if you guys want to join, you can. I might even put something in the community tab that whoever comments first will have the chance to be on the podcast at the right time. So I mean, that's crazy. So wow. that's mm, I'm the one who mm. commented first. Ignore that. <laughs> You're a moderator. You don't I'm count. Picking. I'm picking, bro. I'm picking. I'm picking. I know. That'd be funny, yeah, though. That'd be very funny. It's like we ever uh, host a contest on the channel. Moderators you know, don't YG? count. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to call him IJack because that's like a very. <laughs> okay. I J A S. Mm. Yeah. yeah, come on. Yeah, I'm thinking of it. I Jack, because he even has it on. But yeah, that's one of the few things and, I have. Oh yeah, yeah. and then obviously, and then obviously yeah. I, I mod uh, my Quest Three in the sense that I download like all these games from Side Quest. Like I've been playing Star Wars Jedi Academy on my Quest Three. That is mine. There is no Star Wars game in existence quite like that. Star Wars Jedi. Are you able to even get it regularly or no? Say again? Am I allowed to download that regularly? Or okay, that so only... it's not regularly. So what you do is you download it from SideQuest, but you can't play it. You have to then download the actual Jedi Academy game from Steam. And then you have to download, once you buy the game, and the game is cheap, by the way. It's like, uh, it can cost, if it's on sale on Steam, it can cost like $2. If it's full price, it's like $10, I think. But then what you do is you, you buy it, you download it, and then you have to go into the files of the game and copy like four folders and then paste them in your Quest 3 and bam. It's a lot easier than it sounds like though. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I can teach you how to do it one of these days. If you really like if you actually buy the game, I can teach you how to do it. It's yeah, I think so I'm good. easy. I already have Star Wars Tales of the That's fun too. That game is a lot of fun. Yeah, I like playing that. What's the worst uh, Star Wars game actually? Uh, uh, Tales of Tales of Galaxy's Edge. It's a standalone Star How Wars game. How bad is it? It's great. It's actually a fantastic game. Yeah. Oh, I was I just asking is... what was the worst one ever. The worst what? Star Wars VR game? Yeah, the mm -hmm. worst one. There's not a worst Star Wars VR game presently. I guess the one that I, I guess like, the one that official. most people are disappointed with is um. 
what was the name of Star Wars Squadrons? It's, oh. it's, a, it's a great VR game. The problem with it is you have to use a controller, like a standard gaming controller. You can't use your Oculus remotes to like control the joystick and the throttle and all that. You have to just use a regular, and it kind of it kind of killed the immersion. That's the only reason people minute. don't like it. But I enjoyed the game. There were some dumb story elements that I think were not ethical. Uh, but I will hold that to myself. Uh, at least no idea what video. that word means. But okay. <laughs> so yeah. Question. Yeah. True or false? I'm just curious. Yeah. Movies, movie games suck. Most movie games suck. You're not. I mean, I'm sorry. I enjoy kinda... movie video games. I'm one of those few people yeah, that yeah, I actually yeah. enjoy. They're not bad. Have you ever but not seen great. Toy Story 3, the game? I own it on my okay. PSP. <laughs> I own it on my Wii, dude. I love oh, it. Oh, oh, you do? Okay. I, I, I don't remember it anymore. I played it back in the day when that when that movie came out. I don't remember the game anymore. I would have to. Replay <clears> it. I just remember the. Oh dude. wait, PSP. I played. I played that game actually. PlayStation Portable. Yeah. Oh no. That's a completely different game about. compared to console counterparts. I know. I know. Did you know that? I know that. Uh, so yeah. did you know? In, in those yeah. er so in those eras of the Wii, by the way, a lot of video games were were built exclusively for that platform. What that means is each Probable. game looked different. Each game almost had a different storyline. It was crazy. I didn't. I was not a fan oh, of that fun. because if I was on a PlayStation Three and you were on a Wii, both our games oh, would be that. completely different. They would have different levels. They would have different customizations. They, it would just be completely different games. And it was kind of annoying. Sonic Unleash. <laughs> Did that, what? Is that what happened with that game? About? Yeah. So Please during the Wii, Unleash mainly on the Wii. During the it's Wii, Wii yeah. Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3 era. A lot of games that released for those platforms would actually be different for each console. What's up, yeah. J.I.? Why are you crying, bro? I'm not! Oh. <laughs> it's J.I. Uh, it's what was I saying? <laughs> you were crying, remember? <laughs> so, you know uh -oh. Sonic Colors, right? Or no, you don't? So, I've never played any of Sonic oh, yeah. games. Yes. I know, sad. So, Sonic Colors. I it's only the... on the Wii. That's the only thing it's on. Well, the old one, not the new yeah. one. Right. It's Sonic on the... Colors on also Nintendo released Switch on the DS. Guess what? It's a freaking completely different game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I like most more modern games in a sense, because now at least they're the same I'm game to, I'm trying to think of, I'm across to the board. Think... Oh my god. I why? need that. I, I need that. Why? That is okay. so cool. Okay, anyways, guys, we're hitting an hour and two minutes. Is there any last okay. things you want to say before we wrap things up? The last thing I, I said. Fingers. No! <laughs> Actually, one thing I want to discuss confusing. right before we end the podcast is have you guys. Pl what, what, so, usually I ask you, how has your week be been at the beginning of the podcast? I forgot that bit. It's right. a bit of an awkward question. So, what I'm going to try and <laughs> ask okay. is like. What video games have you guys been playing in the week, especially VR related? Now, I want to throw this to Mr. Bob first because I know Mr. Bob had the chance to play No Man's Sky in VR. How was that? Ooh! Um, Ow. I'm still playing it, obviously. How is it? Like, how are you enjoying it? Oh, yeah, I'm very much enjoying it. It ain't optimized yet, obviously. Oh, from my God. Oh, oh, it's a lot optimized, by the way. You see worse. Fusion. Fusion. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. No, it's okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm enjoying No Man's Sky. I'm playing the plate for a while. I'm playing to get my money's worth. I need, yes. uh, <laughs> I need it. Uh, though, the black gothic boots. I've also been playing. Uh, I've also <laughs> been playing a lot of Rec Room still. I mean, right. Rec Room's my go-to game when I'm bored. Um, gotcha. I literally treat this like Minecraft. Um, but yeah, I also been playing a little bit of Minecraft, Phasmophobia, um, oh my. Beat Saber, Pistol Whip. Uh, Very nice. I've been messing around with UEVR, um, UUVR. I've been oh, messing nice, around nice, with all nice. that. Yeah. Yeah, I've just been optimizing all my flat screen games to be basically VR. Cool. Very cool. I do that same with Warpex. Yeah, I'm literally much oh, stronger fun. in a game in VR. 
Uh, that might be true to everyone. I don't know. But yeah, I'm literally just like physically stronger. Nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, what? J.I., what about you? Are there any like VR okay. games you've been playing that you want to share? Uh, there haven't been any VR games I've been playing. Any flat cause... screens? Uh... I have been playing GTA 5 with my cousin a lot. <laughs> nice. I'm yeah, still waiting for GTA San Andreas game. to come out for the Oculus. <laughs> it's still not out yeah, yet. Yeah, it's probably never going to happen. Yeah, I heard. There... I heard. I heard it's never going to oh, happen. Yeah. yeah, so... Yeah. I've been playing GTA. There were things I were going to say, so... Sorry, uh... <laughs> you forgot? Oh, yeah. There were Sonic games I used to play back on my Nintendo. Not Nintendo. Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. I, one of them was like one of the motion things. I stood on like this table I have. Keep in mind, I was like five, three maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then it never worked out for me. And then I had this other Sonic game. I actually have it on my Xbox. It's right there. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, wait, can I say two? Can I say one more thing? Uh, okay. sure. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know who you're talking to. Yeah, yeah, I had a feeling. <laughs> uh, like I was saying, there's gonna be an Arkham Batman VR game. I I'm know, I'm so Batman excited for it. The, the Arkham Batman game. Yeah. I'm so psyched for it. <laughs> okay, well, see ya. I'm gonna get off. I'm All probably right, gonna check one, man. the items that these two were talking about on my phone. Fair see enough. ya. Laters. Um, I'm going to unmute Fusion and Zany, and then toss the same question back at them. Yeah, all right. So Fusion, we were go we were going off of we were going off about cool stuff. Fair yeah, enough. it was a good Halloween stuff. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, oh no, it's all good. It's all good. I just wanted Mr. Bob to be able to have the space to say what he was trying to say. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. What about you, Fusion? Are you playing any cool VR games this past week, or just a flat screen game that you would like to share? Um. Well, we, we're both main... thinking it. <laughs> I know what you're VR. thinking. I know what you're thinking. Well, I both. I already VR. know what you two are thinking. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Well, VR wise, <laughs> I've mainly, I've mainly just been playing VR chat. That's all I've been playing. Any but cool worlds? Wise, Any cool worlds? Um, recommend? Not at the moment. I mean, like all I've been doing is a bunch of. Um, karaoke and oh, okay. i've been playing just dance vr gotcha okay that yeah. <laughs> i need to look it up i saw that <laughs> I heard that yeah um but video <laughs> flat screen wise yes i have been playing dragon ball sparking I zero it. i knew it we and still have to fight <laughs> hey this weekend this weekend i'm actually I fighting actually, one of my friends so I, i'm getting the experience I I'm actually ready. watched a so trailer of that game just because you guys were talking about it so <gasps> much. <laughs> Sunday. What? Would Sunday work? Yeah, that would work. Yes! <laughs> um, but yes, that game is amazing. It's fun. And it I've so actually started fun. playing I've actually started playing a new game I have never played before. Oh, what is it? The Forest. Oh, Ooh, why is that, that game, game getting popular? popular? It's so because that, the sequel that's came an, out. Isn't that, that's an old uh, game. <laughs> Mr. That's Bob. An old game. It is so <laughs> that why that game. Me? That game is so intense fusion, like the horror elements. Like, oh yeah, I wish definitely. you luck when you go into a cave. It makes it a Good luck. It makes it a lot yeah, easier. <laughs> it, makes, no. it makes it a lot easier with friends. Let's be real. I actually own it okay, too. I, I I played it on I my was, PS5. I yep. I was playing with my three of my friends last night because I was oh. playing it for the first time, and one of my Ooh. friends like, "You ready to go do some caving?" I was like, <laughs> oh, no. "Sure." I mean, this is my first time playing. I'm like, I can't see a gosh darn thing. Like, oh my I god, can't... it's dark. It is. You need a flashlight, a, thing, a torch. A sudden, it's so bad. I had a. All I, I had, had was news. a lighter. What's up? Oh wait, sorry. Oh, I own the forest too. My friend has it, which I share stuff with my friends in some games. Um, I can get on with y'all if my friend is not online. Well, he's for forced. The forest. You're forced too. We have the forest one, and we're on PS. Yeah, PlayStation. we only have no forest one. Forest one. Is it cross compatible? Oh, he's saying like he has. Um, it's on Steam. Uh... I don't know if it is cross compatible. I would... 
I'll have to research it. Okay. I'll have to research it because I, that will be yeah, fun. I have to look it up. That will be a ton of fun. I want to play it on um, PC because it's VR on PC, by the way. The Forest One. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I, what? I have to do I, that now. The Forest is VR compatible. Was, yeah. Oh no. Yeah. It, it's when it's phasmophobia all over again. <laughs> Yes. When I was playing, yes. when I was playing the game last night, and like we were going through the caves, I was, I was a little terrified. But then the, like some creatures like came running past me, like, oh my god, like okay. <laughs> and what's scared. crazy about those monsters on the island, by the way, from what I understand, if you kill one of them, that tribe knows what's you what you've done, and they eventually will want revenge. It's crazy, like the, the game mechanics. Oh yeah. Um. Hey, okay, uh, I just looked it up. On. <laughs> I looked it well, up if it was crossplay, and it is not. Aw, that's sad. I might rebuy it anyway, just to play uh, it with you on, on on because that would be a awesome game to stream, like in VR. <laughs> no, no, Zany, you lucky. Whoa, <laughs> that looks cool. This Why? is the stuff we were. This is the stuff we were going off about. That looks cooler than it should. What is that head? It's a pumpkin head. The pumpkin head. <laughs> I know, but why is it a Yo, pumpkin let, head? And also, is it let me read still you, available? Let me read. Yeah, yes, he just let me bought read it. You the description of it. Let me re let me read you the description of it. Wear him. Don't hit wear him. He doesn't care. Pumpkin head will find you. Pumpkin head always finds his victims. Wow. Uh, what about you, Zany? Any any like VR games or flat screen games? I know you're gonna say Dragon Ball. We already know one flat screen game. But but say it anyway. <laughs> well, there is that. Say what you there, want to say. There is that. But in VR, literally before the podcast, like an hour or two ago, I got back into Blaine Sorcery because I needed a stress reliever. Mm. Nice. Um, there's Dungeons of Eternity, which we already know about. I need to get back to that. <laughs> He's looking through his menu. We I can do. see his, your hands blipped out, so I know you're looking through your, your game menu. Fusion, we <laughs> definitely need to get back into that. I know. I'm trying to find also, the time wait, to look, get I gotta back see, to I gotta, Oh my god, this looks awesome. It looks great. <laughs> it looks great. Yeah, it looks I gotta find, good. I gotta find the time to get back on it. because I don't care if this costs this, me 12000 something with no, a friend. No. What and are you then, looking at now? The same thing about, I think you're wearing. You looking at? No, no, this only- these two outfits together cost the same amount as the wings. Gotcha. I do not care if this costs I just want the jacket. I must- The I must. skeleton uh, wings I was wearing real. earlier costed 5,400. Gotcha. These two gotcha. together costed that. Guys. So basically, these two items cost uh, a 10 buck pack. Okay. Um, as hey, for guys. me, I- the Wait, one- sorry. which video games have I been playing? Uh, Skyrim VR. No, actually, I've been playing a lot of Destiny because I'm trying to catch up with the new season. But Asgard's mm. Wrath 2, that's the VR game I really, Ooh. really been playing. I've heard that's pretty good. Yeah. That game, I've heard it's pretty good game has no right actually, to be wait, as good wait, as it's been. I, I have an idea. Yeah, go ahead. I was say, how about this? As an idea for right now, instead of talking about games we have been playing... Wait a minute! You mean to tell me there's such a thing as Just Dance VR? I guess. <laughs> anyway, yes, what I do want to VR chat. What I want to share about Asgard's Wrath, by the way, is the first character you start out with. That there is at least a minimum, and I want to stress the word minimum, ten hours of gameplay with the first character you meet up with and you play that character for at least 10 hours that's not counting all the dungeons and side quests you can do 10 hours then work? when that's over it finishes that story Wait. arc and it starts oh. story arc 2 and you play a brand new character <laughs> you play a brand new story arc character for another 10 if not more hours that is not counting dungeons and then after you're done with that oh, character wow. It starts with another story arc with a brand new character. Now that one's a lot okay, shorter. So... It's about give me one second, Zany. This one lasts okay. about <laughs> I guess this one probably lasts about five, six hours if you're trying to play it fast without doing dungeons and you know <laughs> what you're doing. You can probably finish it in about right. five hours. And then after that, there's another character arc with a brand new character, and that's where I am right now. I'm hoping I'm about to beat the game. Wow. Because I'm like, that's insane. Like, if you do the math. 10, 20, 30, 
the game has a minimum of 50 to 60 hours of gameplay and that's just story related holy crap that's just story related that's insane so, do you guys want to do you guys want to know what i'm thinking yeah what's up what so um instead of talking about vr games or uh flat screen games we've recently been playing let's talk about vr games or flat screen games we want to get in the future so wait, wait, we wait, might we well, let's, let's, let's save that for the next stream by the way because we're already an hour and 10 minutes mm -hmm. i was just trying to get to the to the final hour because i need to probably Fair. get about 10 minutes out but let's save that for the next stream and you can tell me your idea after after the, after i end the camera here so anyway guys wait, wait. i oh wait i need to tell you something sure go ahead okay 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 so everyone look at my face real quick Okay. Hey! <laughs> nice. Nice. Of course. Of course. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this podcast. We will be back next week. I will try and put up a community tab so one of you guys can actually finally sit in that chair right there. We've been trying to invite so many of you, and we only got trainer. Hopefully, next time we can get somebody in here. Um, we tried to get Red Panda, but she she never actually responded. So, once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the rec room. Booyah! Booyah! Bye. Bye.